my dudes and dudettes. What's good? Hopefully everything. Hopefully everything's good. What a day, man. I went hunting. It was uh it was good, man. Rolled up to Walmart and for in first, uh finally met another collector. Uh Homie Matt actually turned out to be a homie now, just right off the bat, not just because we collect, but his lady friend. It's funny because uh, back in high school, my stepdad had the 78 Blazer. It was like lowered. It was like balanced, blueprinted 350. It was, his, it was his ride. And then he sold it to like one of my closest pals. So uh, my friend uh, bought the car, bought the truck, and then uh, finally got it insured. And we went to lunch and all me and like three other homies, you know, the driver and myself, we're all in the car. We get maybe block away from the school and boom, we get T-boned by this little Mustang 2. And it turns out that the gal who was driving that Mustang 2, it's it's his girl. So it was, it was just real cool meet up, man, and getting to talk with him and he collects some really cool cars, you know. Um, just cool to hear how specific they are. So hopefully down the road, uh, Matt, hopefully, uh, you know, first it was really nice to meet you, man. Obviously, we've, we've been talking since we met, but um, it'd be really cool to get with you and, um, you know, maybe get you on camera. But we'll talk about that. Let me know. Uh, <clears throat> next to that, guys, I did get some cars, man. Uh, Matt and I rolled up Walmart. Really crazy. And actually, before I show you these cars, this also... Um, uh, homie clued me in on to, uh, you know, guys, you guys remember, well, of course you remember, but you know, that, that bout with those empty pegs, you know, um, turns out, turns out it's a bad couple years to be a, a freight liner. So, uh, one of the freight liners that were carrying Mattel product listed because of a rogue wave. And so it dumped a bunch of containers into the ocean. And I'm not laughing, I'm, pardon me, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because it would happen. I have a an acquaintance who's his car who was on his boat that's also in the ocean that's on fire. He had a Volkswagen he had ordered. So that's why I mentioned it's bad time to be a Freightliner. But anyway, so that explains those empty pegs and uh, that, that, uh, that was a homie, uh, uh, Civils, uh, sorry, uh, I'll, 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 I'll add you into the comments, my G. Actually, what are you? It's your wife. So, thank you for plugging us in on that, because we were definitely curious, but, yeah, y'all, if you really want to find that super, it's, it's at the bottom of, uh, I wonder if it's the Atlantic or the Pacific. Is that kind of like, yeah, because there's two ports. There's more than two, but whatever. Went to Walmart. Met the homie Matt. Came up on a couple things. Really cool because they had, they pulled both a, uh, uh, what is it? A a D case and a C case. So that was rad. But first, let me show you something I found. Another Walmart exclusive series. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, it, it's called Trucks That Go Off, but. Here's the 15 Land Rover. This thing is sick. All these things kind of have this like off-road mud livery to them. So uh, big play on that Land Rover 80, obviously. That's five of five. We're going backwards. And here's number four of five, another Toyota Land Cruiser. Good to see that after that blue one just dropped. Three of five is the Oldsmobile 442. It's crazy, right? It's a W32, my apologies. That's a sick casting. Uh, number 205 is the 67 Jeepster Commando. And then lastly is the Mercedes Unimog. I don't know if you guys are seeing these at your Walmart. I know you guys are actually seeing some cars, so 
you know, um, I'm stoked to hear that. And I know you guys are stoked to hear that. So don't forget, you know, grab a couple. It's okay. Grab three. You collect them, you collect them. Unimog party over there right now. I do love Mercedes Benz though. So really stoked to get this new set. I, again, I don't know what it's called. Uh, and the Unimog is the only one that's like badged on the packaging too. So, hmm. Anyway, let's see what else I got. It was a nice haul. Nice haul. Pretty stoked right now. You know, I flashed it the other day, but there's that new Actor Integra, the new uh, import. Kind of import version, yeah. Finally got a second one of these so I can open it freely because we love Mercedes. I know. Can't wait to get a secondary set of whatever this set is. If you guys know what this set is, let me know. The off road one. There's that red Mercedes. If you guys haven't seen it. Love that they they finished out a little more than the others. Like I said, D case and some more D case to so a couple trucks. The super would be the Studebaker, but there was no super. But I thought that Goodyear livery too on the uh, the uh, F one fifty was really cool. So I grabbed those. Stinking Batman. They drop a Batman like every week. I know it's tuned, but I collect Batman because I got this one today too. I don't know if you guys are seeing these as well. I kind of was able to kind of slowly piece together the whole series. And I know I've got the, what is it, the Gas Monkey Garage somewhere? Um, unrelated. Rest in peace, Ryu. That colorway is sick. You guys haven't seen that one yet. We got a couple reuse. Let's just keep it there. Where is the other ones? Don't I? Or did I already show it? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Here's the other two, the uh, Japan imports, the uh, Mazda RX-7. Another re ride. Dodge van. Sick. We got the super. Just, you always check to see if they're supers. Even though you know they're not a super, but you're going to check. A random purchase for me was this Rally Baja off road crawler. My kid watches this show, but I know nothing about it. But it's fast and furious, so I'm, I'm in. This new, uh, Baja Blazers custom Ford Bronco is really cool too. A lot of mud, a lot of mud and stuff on there. Their new cars are a lot of mudders rather. Let's see, actually speaking of, probably, well, no, no, I'll just go here. Another pair I picked up was the uh, new Gasser. Really cool. Really cool. It's Copo Camaro. Ooh. Or Corvette. Excuse me. Why did I say Camaro? Uh, my bad. My bad. Everybody's good. Everyone's good. Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm definitely real chill. My back is kinked. I had to do something about it. And I'm going to take it easy on myself, so I'm taking it easy. <laughs> High key. Dope car. Really want my baby mama to have it, even though she won't. But what I love is my initials are on it. So, I will be buying these up. And it looks really good, but again, with the uh, mud livery, 
is that a livery with the mud decoration it might be a little overdone but that thing is sick i just opened the uh premium toyota land cruiser about to crank this one open i don't know if you guys can see it but my initials are on there but i can't focus that so my bad b They're Toyota pieces. They're doing really good. Well, they didn't finish the back on here, but the front, even parking lights and everything. So they're they're really paying some attention to these. And then lastly, and I'm really stoked, or not lastly, but really stoked I found a pair of these. One for me, one for my old lady. Congratulations, babe. She just bought a uh, 2022 Tiguan. And I'm the Volkswagen guy, but uh, she... Obviously, she uh, like if you guys knew, she she wrecked her car. But uh, I'm really excited that she decided to buy a Volkswagen, whole different Volkswagen than the Volkswagen I know. But I rode in it. It is clever, clever car, SUV, compact it. Pretty sure it's just like a really inflated like golf chassis, but it is nice, man. Anyway. Congrats, babe. Congrats to me. Found a pair of treasure hunts. It sounds like I was talking to my pal, Matt. It sounds like this kook showed up afterwards and was blabbing about how he raided the other store we have, you know, in our town. And got all the goods and tried to befriend some other guy while he was there. And that other guy told him to fuck off, essentially. So that was pretty rad to hear. Something satisfying about that. But B case, that's what I was going to get to. It's B case, D case. So, um, and also, what do you, is it the uh, Deadpool? The Deadpool is what they also did in this one. Donut Drifter. Sweet driver. Really cool though, really cool. Hmm. And like I said, that was your B case treasure hunt. And then I got lucky and got a D case treasure hunt too. So the Toon Twin Mill partners up with the, um, what did they just do? They did a Zamac version. There's a blue one. I like this blue one. And some other ones, but tune stuff, I, I don't know. But I got some, so. Yeah, man. Y'all, you know what? You know what I did do? And I didn't even, I didn't even. I did it. I did it, y'all. I, I, I bought... Um, well, I didn't really buy it. I had merchant. Well, no, I guess I did buy it because I'd spent money on something before. And then... And then... Yeah. I bought it. So I bought the X-Blade. I'm, I'm not that bummed. I feel bad for talking Shh, crap. It's really well done. Has a kickstand. Not, not the kickstand makes it really well done, but really well done it is cool it's moving parts it's they're all real bikes you know there's only six of them they are hot wheels I might collect them i don't know does anyone here have all six of these so i'd love to know man i'd love to know because i <sighs> What about that? You guys get that? Star Trek out? DK score. Yeah. Hey y'all, that's it man. I'm I'm sorry, I'm a little all over the place. Like I said, I'm hella chill. Um I just opened up Treasure Hunt and another car, no problem. It's not a big deal, but pretty casual and 
Hope you guys don't think I was being some like bougie dumb dumb with it, but I opened my cars. You guys should open them. And I wasn't trying to be an ass when I was like, buy two, buy three. I, they are for sale to whatever consumer patron is there to support whatever brand you're supporting. And, you know, but again, don't be like the kook you know, that I'm happy to have missed earlier, but, uh, you know, I mean, do it, you know, the way Matt and I met is there were some, there were some boxes and I was like, bro, you want to open this one? And he was like, yeah. And he's actually a big intimidating sized dude. So I, he could have like probably going to take a bite out of me, but he didn't it just turned out to be really cool. But, uh, that's how we met. Cause the Walmart dude was like busy scrambling stocking. So your Walmart should be stocked, y'all, because he, they're like underpowered and had plenty of boxes. But anyway, and we got to uh, open a couple boxes. That was rad. So anyway, really cool to meet you, Matt. Hope your guys' Walmart is stocked. Hope all is well in your planet. You don't have to find a super treasure hunt to be a superstar. You know, you know what you do have to do is also visit your Safeway in Albertsons. They're having a sales contest, so um, uh, Hot Wheels specific. So they should be loaded up with the number of. Sh they've been dump bins, the ones I've gone to, but then most recently today I visited one that had shippers. So I guess it doesn't matter what, but they're they should be loaded on some Hot Wheels. So <clears throat> I guess now now's the time to get caught up, guys. But. Uh, Yeah, hope all is well, man. Peace.